Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually holding my camera right now because I don't have enough time to sit down to get my tripod out because I'm actually going to surgery in a couple of minutes for my eye. If you guys want to know more, I will link the video down below whenever it goes up. I actually have one about explaining how and I'll link that down below and then the vlog I'm vlogging today, I'll link that down below whenever it goes up. So every video, I have a video on Saturday, I have a video today. Um, when you're watching this, it was yesterday. So hopefully this video will go up in time so it was actually yesterday. If not, I apologize. I was in surgery. Surgery. like last week I was too busy to upload it it's a healthy life I apologize but hopefully this will go up in time so yeah that's what I'm doing today um today I'm actually doing a um, my at-home workout routine so when I whenever I'm at home so probably I will do this for the next week because I can't do any intense workouts so this one's not too intense it doesn't inquire anything like running or anything um but <laughs> that's what's happening I'm a little nervous for my surgery but I'm not going to talk about that today this is video this video is about my at-home workout so stay tuned to figure out what I do hopefully you guys help hope you guys find it helpful I have mostly abs and legs in here but you can add weights to any of these workouts and yeah that's all and I'll see you guys um in my next video on Saturday Okay, so before every workout, I do like to stretch just to make sure I don't pull any muscles and I'm all lean and stuff. So I do the normal, I touch my toes, spread my legs, go in the middle, go on each side. And I like to do each of these just for 30 seconds. This one is my favorite. This is called the butterfly. This stretches like the inner thighs so well. I love doing this. You can make it more challenging by putting your head to your feet and moving your feet closer to your body. I love it. And then this one just kind of stretches your back. So I'm putting my back in and up. And that just kind of helps my back be a little stretch. And then I'm doing this. This just stretches your abs. And I want to know if any of you guys can do this. If you guys can touch your feet to your head like this. Because I can and I don't know many people that can. This one's also another good one for your thighs. This is basically like doing the splits but one leg is put in. So for my first set of exercises I would show you. I thought I would show you guys the legs. So starting off with these, which are step ups, what you want to do is find a bench and make sure it's about to your knee height. Don't go any higher because that can damage your knees. And for these, I like to do three sets of 20. Next, I am just doing some squats. One thing with squats is that you want to make sure your feet are pointed forward and not to the side or else you can really damage your knees from that. And then make sure your knees aren't going over the tip of your toes. I am not a personal trainer. I'm not doing all of these 100% correct. I know that. So if you want to, feel free to correct me in a nice way. Now I'm just doing lunges. I'm doing three sets of 20. And you can easily just do these by like staying in one place. But I like moving. I don't know why, but you can do them in one place as well. Next, I'm just doing butt kicks. These are really good for your quads. I'm doing three sets of 20 of these. Now, I am doing butt ups. And this is basically just putting your butt up. This is good for the booty. When doing these, you want to make sure your legs go out at a full 90 degrees. They're straight out. Now moving on to abs, I like to do a plank, um, so I like to do an elbow plank for as long as possible. This is a killer workout, I love doing this, just seeing how long I can hold it. When doing a plank, you want to make sure your whole body is like the same height and that your butt's not too high up or too low down. Next, I am doing these leg lifts kind of mixed with heels to heaven, so what I'm doing is just lowering my legs 
and making sure I go as far down as possible without actually touching my feet to the ground. Now I'm just doing these little toe touches. This next exercise is called scissors and what you want to do is lower your legs as far down as possible without actually touching the ground and what I'm doing is just switching my legs. I don't know, you guys can see it. And now I'm just doing a side plank and I'm doing each side as long as I can hold. Now next I'm doing sit ups, doing 3 sets of 20 of these. And a good tip if you don't have anyone to hold your feet and you can't really keep your feet stabilized, just put them underneath something. So like right here I'm putting them underneath my bed so that I'm not moving them like crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of His Healthy Life. Click to the left to check out another video of mine, or click to the right to watch my last episode. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, at xAshleyNicole. And follow me on my Snapchat, at basicallyAshley.